Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, so today we are going to be just going on the Minecraft server a little bit, uh, finishing off the house and then looking around at what everyone's done. Uh, I am just trying to <laughs> go and pause my music but it won't let me open it. Let me look at the music tab. Thank you. It was like, yeah, Minecraft is open, it's not shown on the stream for some reason, but I think that's because I didn't fully tab into it. There we go. There was two musics there for a second. Now it'll show up. No. Why not? There we go. I did literally nothing, it just took its time. Um... Yeah, I was wondering if someone was on, because I know there was someone mentioned they were on earlier, but... Yeah, just load in. But yeah, today is the last day of Jingle Jam. Um, last day of fundraising. Uh, it'll be closing at midnight, so you, you won't be able to donate anymore. Um, that also means if you have yet to get the collection, um, today is your last day to do it. There will be no more getting the collection after midnight. Um, so get your donations in. But I will do all of the lovely commands in the chat so you have all of the information um, and the links. There you are, and of course at any point you can still just do any of those commands to uh, get those again if you need. Yeah, you can click any one of those links to donate to whichever one of those charities you would like to support. Um, and if you do a donation um, and you donate over £35, uh, you can select the collection um, as a reward um, and you will get over 70 games, uh, plus there is also a few cosmetic bundles and uh, DLC things as well. I believe there is a Minecraft related thing. I think it's an MCC uh, thing. I don't know because I don't really do MCC stuff, um, so I don't think I'm going to redeem mine. Um, but yeah. And of course I, any uh, donations that come through should show up on the stream alerts and then I'll be able to go and read them. So if you put um, hashtag aquatic tiger or something like that I will know it's for me. Um, also we are very close to hitting our current goal for calm. I think we're just under 30 pounds off. If I remember from checking it earlier I can go and double check it because uh, you may have had another donation come in since. Uh, yeah, just under £30, I think it is, if I'm maths incorrectly. Um, so if someone buys the bundle and donates to Calm, we will hit that goal. Um, I think most of the others have only been updated recently, so they're a bit further off. But yeah, as you can see, I have finished off some of the decoration uh, since the other day. Um, so I think this is pretty much done. Um, so this is the upstairs area, obviously I finished off the bed with the banners. I decided to switch out um, the fences for these because it still looked weird and like the banners were floating. Um, I've obviously got a wreath there, the bed. I put some frosty fub carpet down around. That uh, got bookshelves, I did buy those from one of the villagers. Um, I did put the slabs on top because I didn't want to light up the area above there and mobs could spawn on top of it. Um, I've obviously got um, this that was all right here before and this nice sofa with like lights um, and I chose the like the white um, carpet for this one because I was like why not. Um, obviously more bookshelves over there and I think this is you know quite nice. And then downstairs it's mostly the same as it was before. Um, I've now obviously got the netherite in there 
because that was apparently easier to do than uh, iron. Although I could have just turned some iron into blocks, but yeah, the kitchen is done. I don't know where my other cat is, but at least we still have one of them. I never actually went looking for the other cat. Um, and obviously the basement's still the same with all the chests. Outside I have built a tree. So this is our tree and it's obviously snowed since um, I built it. Um, I replaced a lot of the torches with lanterns, um, so it looks a bit nicer. See the um, garland lights, I have put them all around the building, so they're all nice. I was thinking about maybe adding them higher up, but in the end decided not to, because that was um, a lot of effort to try and get up there. Um, but yeah, so this is the tree. Um, you know, I, I, I could do better, but honestly, this is really awkward to try and build. Um, so it's good enough. And I added lanterns here to stop this bit from getting snow on it, but the tree has snow on it. That's fine. We'll add um, some decorations onto it a little in a little bit. Um, I did put my sled down over here. Um, yes, I found sugar cane. Uh, so when I was on my way back from the villager village, I was like just looking around and I saw uh, some sugar cane. So I. After I like arrived, I ran back to get it, uh, and I found then loads more. Um, so I have it planted, and yeah, yeah. I also put some reeds over here because why not? Uh, but yeah, the sugar cane was very useful for building presents, uh, which I do still have in here. I haven't put them out yet, so I made a few presents. So yeah, we've got a few more decorations to put out. Got another little snowman, got some lights. I uh, probably don't need the carpet for anything. I've got a few more lanterns. I did have to go mining for a bunch more iron because I ran out. <laughs> so one of the other people, uh, hang on, let me see who it was. Um, Drunken Gator um, said that uh, Christmas tradition uh, is sugar cream pies um, and the pumpkin pie was the closest to that in the game um, so it's gone around and given everyone a piece of pumpkin pie uh, which is very sweet um, I I don't want to just eat it because um, I think I might find like get a picture uh, like an item frame or something and display it. I don't want to just eat it because it's just a piece of pumpkin pie. That uh, right. So in terms of decorations, I I want to put the presents down. I guess underneath the tree, but let's decorate it first. So I am actually going to need some dirt or something to then pull up be able to actually, you know, decorate the tree. And that's gravel, dirt. And then this should be enough lights. We do need something for the top of the tree. Do we put the snow guy on top? That's the question. Or do we figure out something else to put on the top of the tree? Um, in fact, I could... I think I have some leather, yeah. Let's make some item frames. That'll be enough. Um, because we could put use an item frame to put something on the top of the tree. Uh, I don't think there's any other like decoration things that would work. It's all of this stuff which looks cool but I don't think I'm going to end up using any of it. Are there any other items that would look good to be placed on top of a tree? Uh, it's like, 
star or like an angel are common things to put on top of the tree so a little snow guy um would work uh see, something like a dragon head would look good on top of the tree but we can't make one of those uh Anything that would work in an item frame. I mean, we could do like a nether star. I believe there was one of the traders did have nether stars. But I don't know whether that would look nice because you'd have to basically, I guess, get four to put on the top of the tree. Might actually be better if we go with the little snow guy. Uh, yeah. We'll put him on the tree. This is what they look like, so I think that'll be fine. Now for adding lights. I think we don't want every single bit to be a light. I'm thinking maybe we have like a garland around some of it. So the problem with doing it like that is obviously I can't then place it there. I could like place it up there and have it look like it's going up. What do we think? Does that look good? I already have to net pull up. And then go around and up. Oh no, that one was too high. Just like that. And of course it's getting dark. sleep. Doesn't look too bad. Then we can put the garland lights on like that as well. Start from this side. Yeah. Like that. Should 
Sure, we'll go with that. And then... trying to make sure they're like spread out a little bit hard to tell especially with this snow no i didn't mean to break that damn it i need to go get more Luckily, I have a bunch more because I did mine way more than I needed. Okay, it's actually done a server message. Uh, yeah, th that was discussed in the Discord that we are now going to be able to do creative mode. Um, but I wanted to finish my house in survival. Make sure there's enough like sprinkled around so it's not uneven. But... That'll do. Grab my shop for breaking all of this. There we go. Our Christmas tree. All we need to do is add the snow guy on top. So that doesn't work. Sekma, how are you? Yeah, yeah I'm doing good. Just finished off our Christmas tree. So 
looks all right. Pretty happy with that. I might add little lanterns on it though, maybe. Apparently it won't let me put them there. Never mind. It won't let me hang it from there. We'll put a lantern there. Why not? That's literally the only place we can put it. Yeah, it's looking good. Um, I do want to put the presents down, but I don't think they work. Will will work under the tree. So we need to find a place in the house for them. Um, maybe over here by the fireplace. Maybe not all of them, but definitely some can go. Actually, this this spot here could work. Put a couple presents by the fire. What do we think? There isn't really space anywhere else. This bit here is quite empty, but I don't know what I'd put there. Okay, you can actually put items in these. So maybe instead of putting the presents in the house, we make presents for the other players and leave presents around for them. That might be more fun. Uh, I love the fireplace the most out of everything. Makes it so cozy. Yeah, I do like the fireplace. I am very happy with how we designed it. I think the only thing that could possibly make the fireplace better is if we had, um, instead of lights that were hung up, we or the wreaths, we had um, a stocking that we could hang up here. That's the only thing that I think could make it better. We could hang a stocking over the fireplace. Unfortunately, there isn't any stockings that we can hang up in this, but maybe for future things we can find a mod that includes that. Nope, no stockings. Is all of the like winterly stuff is like presents, lights, uh, like I mean, there's like scarves and hats and gloves and stuff and and sleds, but no stockings, which is quite a shame. I think it's more of like a winter mod, but it does have Christmassy stuff. Um. spirit and gingerbread stuff and lights but yeah yeah it's a shame but still looks good with the, just this stuff okay I need to make a bunch more presents if we're gonna give everyone presents Okay, uh, how many people do we have playing? I'll have to go around and find everyone's houses uh, to see how many presents we need. Ow, what do we put in them? What would make a good present? Because um, we've already received a piece of pumpkin pie as a present. Uh, in fact, actually, I'm going to use one of the item frames to go and put that on the kitchen table.
There we go. Uh, what should we give everyone? We could do diamonds, but that's not like a traditional Christmas present. Coal would potentially be funny. Um, what other items are there that we could make? I mean, a common thing to get, like, at Christmas is, like, clothes. So we could do, like, a piece of armour or something. Oh, actually, we could give everyone candy canes, but then anyone can buy candy canes in the shop, so it doesn't feel as special. It can't be something we can just buy in the shop. Hmm. Not really that many options. I mean, we could also do some kind of food, but I don't know what we'd give. Hmm. I mean, we could always make, like, some boots and then name them, like, Christmas socks or something, or, like, fluffy socks. Because that's, you know, a common thing. I'd make netherite, but you have to get the diamond to start with. Hmm. I mean, candles are another thing that can get in, like, Christmas presents, maybe, maybe candles, but then we don't have any, um, bees or anything, and I don't think it would be that easy to go find them. I mean, technically I could just go into a boat and cheat it in, but I don't want to do that, I want to do this legit. There really isn't many options of things I could give. Maybe I do just go something like a diamond for everyone. Assuming I've got enough of them. I actually know how much I'm going to need. Well, I've got seven diamonds. Let's go and see how many people have, like, built stuff on the server. Yeah, we could do the candy canes, but the thing is, um, we can literally buy them. 
one of the in the villager village there's literally a guy that sells them for snowballs it's one of the easy things to get a hold of as why i was thinking we don't do that it had to be something that was a little more a little more like e difficult to get not like an easy thing yeah Okay, so we've got this house over here. This one is Nyron, so we've got Nyron. Oh yeah, this is the thing that um built earlier by someone. Uh there is this person is Nemet. Okay, this one's actually looks like it's almost finished now. Uh, they haven't put a sign anywhere. Unless you've got a sign around the, by this door. Too many doors. No sign yet, so there's whoever that person is. Uh, Then this place over here uh, also doesn't seem to have any kind of sign. They've also not finished it yet. Okay, so, so far four people. Yeah, I don't think everyone has like time to go on often. Uh, this is Drunken Gator's house. There's my cat, it got stuck on a sled! Ah, I think wrong buttons. Let me off the. Nope, fuck's sake, I'm trying to break the sled. There you go. Go over here, cat. Alright, sit there whilst I put the sled back down. There we go. You said not break the sign. But I had for a second when I started typing on it. Anyway, uh, okay, this is a tree that they've built. And then I think this is Wilco's. Yeah. They obviously haven't been managed to come on in a while. And I think that's everyone, unless anyone's further away. Yeah, not much progress since the last time. Okay, so that's six people. So we have enough. We can give, well, we've got enough presents, definitely. Oh. 
bear with me. I'll get this cat to come inside and uh, this one can come and sit upstairs. You go sit over here. There you go, sit there. Well, I mean, I haven't looked inside anyone's places. Some of them just look quite nice as well. I, I do really like that glass one as well. Uh, why did I go down there? That's not what I meant to do. Let's actually go and look in people's buildings. Because not everyone's finished theirs. And mine's basically finished, so I'm assuming theirs are going to look better once they're done. This one looks nice. I, think I like the style of the building. Uh, uh, not furnished properly, but... Uh, we've got like nice fireplaces as well. Grander than mine. And the glass building looks pretty. I'm sure that like castle will be really nice once it's done. Let's look inside here. This looks like a present, which is cool. Fairly simple, but you know, it looks nice. Looks like a little present. Uh, well, people will still be able to build until Monday, hence like the chat message. It's um, technically the last day, it's the last day of Jingle Jam, but it'll still be open over the weekend and be probably closing down on Monday. we do have creative ability now which is I don't want to use it yet for my house anyway Wait, what did I do with my other die? That's over there. No, actually, I have enough presents, so I don't even need to have any more. This shit is weird, I don't really need them now. Okay, so we have presents for everyone. I'll probably need signs to let everyone know what it is it's from me. Uh, hanging sign won't really work. Let's just make regular old signs. And then diamonds in them uh, I mean we could give everyone a little snow globe but you can easily craft that or maybe spy glasses it's not really like a traditional like Christmassy gift but either is a diamond
do the gumdrops. It just requires sugar and dye. We have sugar cane. I don't know, if we can only put one thing in, it needs to be something kind of interesting. Uh, was the gingerbread cookie something we can buy? I think it was. Hmm. I mean, I could try and do one of the, like, stews or something, but that requires then going and getting all of the ingredients. And I don't really want to do that. Oh, it's difficult to decide what to go with because there's not that many options. Should we see if we can find any bees to get honeycomb? And maybe try for a candle? Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to find any, unfortunately, but we can take a look. Apparently don't have a shield. Um, right. Do we see any bees anywhere? It only shows up what's nearby. We can literally read the names of the dots and see if any of them are a bee. Um, okay. Well, that way is ocean, so I say we head maybe this way. Although that way is more woodlands. Maybe plains over this way could work, be better. Plains is where they spawn.
just like holding down the tab button because then I can see the names on the map. Even if I don't actually see a bee, it'll just tell me if there is a bee nearby. Someone's house. No. I guess it just adds a sled for igloos because of the mod. What's the rabbits about? I'm not seeing any bees though. This area is snowy plains, that's snowy tiger. Not having any luck? Wait, wait, let me know if you spot any. Um, I'm mostly keeping an eye on the map. See if I see anywhere saying B. Yeah. Flowers around here. First flowers I've seen. I might actually grab some. It's useful for bees. Mushrooms as well. We'll grab those. Lots of cute foxes. I guess we continue on this way. Is 
don't want to go too far away actually it's gonna get dark and we'll be out here and that'll be dangerous how far away are we already quite a distance okay we'll start making our way back going through like an area that we haven't been through Yeah, I don't think there's any bees about, at least not anywhere nearby. Any of rabbits and snuffles, but that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, I really wanted to do like whatever I get them as a present, as something I did in survival. We, we give up on the candle idea. I think probably I'll just go with the um, diamonds. Just can go in there as well. He's in here. Yeah, because there's nothing else really. No, I can't do that because we can't get the ginger. I do have a little bit of cryo marble, but I haven't really found that much. I was just like, I just noticed these and I was like, oh, that's something a bit different. I could 
give everyone a cry marble sword, but I've only got shards. Need four shards to make one of them. Maybe we go with gumdrops. I don't think there's a trader for buying them. They're not like that expensive or anything, but something a little bit di different, you know? And you know, sweets is something that is given as a present, I guess, times. We're kind of limited on what we can and can't do. Let's make a gumdrop, because I think those are, like, placeable. Uh, let's just use some of the dice that we've already got. See what they're like. They are kind of cool. Uh, what is the Christmas mod called? It is... So the gumdrops are from Snowy Spirit and the other stuff is from Winterly. We've got two. And we've got the snuffles from the snuffles mod. It's Snowy Spirit and Winterly. Most of it. Uh, these gumdrops are quite cute. Um, can you add the mod in the search and see everything? That is everything. Literally, the snowy spirit stuff is this stuff with the gingerbread and the lights, the gum and the gumdrops and these things. And then that's the snuffle stuff, and then this is this stuff. That is quite literally all there is. Just over two pages. It's just very, it's very small mods. Because uh, the idea was that for this to be basically vanilla, but a few extra things were added in just for fun. Okay, right, maybe not the gumdrops. They were edible, maybe. I mean, I could literally make boots for everyone and and name them as like fluffy socks or winter socks or Christmas socks or whatever, something like that. I don't know. Oh. 
true, I can dye leather armor. Problem is, I don't have any leather. Ooh, we had a donation. Let me go and see who that was and which one it was to. Uh, there it is, to calm. And that means we've hit our goal for calm because that was a $100 donation from Insect Emu. Uh, with a message as well. Why does Santa use GPS? He doesn't want to be a lost clause. So we now have officially hit our goal for calm as well. Which should show up on the stream at some point. See that it'll be full on the bar. Um, yeah. Very generous. I guess we go and kill some cows to get leather. And it didn't drop leather. Still no leather. Finally! I need to kill a lot of cows at this rate. it's what five per pair of boots and we need six four yes four I was thinking of a hat. Still, it's still a lot. I've got enough for two. Third of the way there. And we run back to the house to quickly sleep. <sighs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Maths ain't easy. I am actually gonna hook up the 
beef. And yes, I could just put it in the smoker. I probably should do. It'll take too long otherwise. whatever number it is. I'll just dump those in there for now. I'm not going to be able to sleep because of that creeper. Oh no, I am. Right, more cows. Check this way. There's another creeper there. be a good idea to use this. Yeah, I know horses give leather, but they actually don't tend to drop it most of the time, and that's not a horse, that's a donkey. Uh, donkeys, I think, do also give leather, but... And I've got plenty of cows around here. Cows have um, less health. Horses and donkeys have a lot more. Almost there. Two more. Mm. 
There we go. Now, what colours do we want to make them? Do we want to just do random colours for everyone, or do we want to like pick colours based on like what colour they would like potentially wear, what colour they use, or something? Yeah, I don't think I have enough purple dye for everyone. We can just go buy more. Uh, although, to dye them- oh no we do actually have six. You put it in a cauldron, don't you? Uh, I will need a bucket of water. Um. Yeah, I mean, my signature colour is blue, so if we're going to go with just one colour. I feel like that one would probably make more sense. I mean, purple does also work. You can't do two colours, unfortunately. Um, true. Guess I'll just use the one bucket. Uh, okay, what colours for everyone else? So if we go a purple for Wilco, lay them out in order. Um, name it probably something like orange. Um, right, let's just grab all of the dyes and some snow and we'll head to the villager village. And we'll buy some more dye for everyone. And do colours based on what we think people might like. Someone's left a minecart here yet again. Someone did that once and it almost bounced me back. Um, it's very annoying. What colours for everyone else? Problem is I don't know who some of the people on here are. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I think Dragon Gator usually goes with green, right? Makes sense. Uh, I think Rose is on here, so... For Rose. Don't know what her house is, though. Um, I think Nairon's like, I know his profile picture is like blue and purple, I think. So something like that. Okay, this one's got all the colours, so we wanted an orange. Um, so, yeah, in terms of people we know that have been on here... Uh, Gator, Rose... Maybe the blue? Uh, yeah, so, I guess Nairon we can also go with either the purple or the blue. Maybe purple? I don't know. Because he usually goes with for stuff. I'm just going it based on what colours people's profile pictures are. Um, and then I don't know who else is actually on here. We just go assign. Because we don't know. Then I don't also don't know who those houses like whose houses who's for some of them. We know who's Wilco's is, we know who Nema is, we know who Gator is. We know Nyron's, we don't know Rose's. And we don't know who the other person is. Yeah, I already said Nemet is the orange. Um, let me scroll up in the Discord and see if anyone else has said they've been on. Uh, well, it looks like Hog has been on. Uh, yeah, I think Hog has been on, so Hog might be one of the houses. Obviously, I don't know what people have been building. Yeah, I guess for the ones we know, we can just go with colours we think would work, and then for the others we can just guess. So I suppose that works. Uh, 
I think it's getting dark. I'll just borrow this bed to sleep in quickly. You don't want to travel at night. Yeah, also this anvil there's anvils here that I can borrow to name everything. Is there a cauldron around here that I could use? I probably shouldn't. Yeah, we'll just put the ones we know and then the ones we're unsure of will just have to be random. So, water. Uh, it's a mod. We've got a, a mod that allows that to work. I don't know what it's called, I think it's like zip wire or something like that. Now I guess theoretically we just put the die in. Or not. Does it need heat? Does it need to be over a fire? Will campfire work? I might be able to throw it in with that that breaking Maybe that's the way it's not working. No, okay, either campfire doesn't work, or this is not how you do it. Ow! I did not think I'd fall down there. Okay, uh... I guess full on fire is what we need. Uh, I, I suppose we do it outside where we don't burn the house down. Uh, 
I'm going to need a block to help place it above the fire. Put the snow away. It doesn't? Then why doesn't it work? I'm clicking on it. I throw it in. It does nothing. How does it work? Or is it not done using the cauldron? Can I literally just... Yes, I can literally just do that. Uh, the thing is, I know I've done it in the cauldron in the past. I have literally dyed leather in the cauldron before, so that must have been a recent change. Because it used to be that that was how you did it. I guess that was too complicated and they eventually changed it. Yeah, I'll rename them once they died. That could change the name. There. Uh, now Anvil. Hopefully I have enough iron. Nope. Ah. Right, what are we naming them? Do we go with like something like fuzzy socks? That's what we're kind of pretending they are. Because socks is a common Christmas present. How do we go? Christmas socks or something. Fuzzy crop socks or Christmas socks. Or fluffy socks. Or just socks. Yeah, Christmas socks. Okay, I will have enough experience for all of this because it only costs one. I am double checking my spelling every single time, even though I'm typing the same thing over and over again. I keep worrying I'm gonna mess misspell it.
There we go. We've got six pairs of Christmas socks for everyone. Yeah, right. Grab that away. Grab out the present. I think we'll do. that and then we need a sign for each of them and I think that's it and we'll sleep and then go around and give everyone their presents This is Nairon, so where do we want to put it? Maybe we put it next to their fireplace? Yeah, we decided we were going to give them purple. I did not mean to put them on. Should we pop it by the fire? Or do we put it outside so it's not in the way? I mean, if we'd put it outside, we could like put it next to the front door so it's like delivery of a present. That might be nice just to put it by the door. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it by the door. So, place present. Place item. And then... Uh, do I say Merry Christmas or Merry Jinglemas? Because it's the end of Jingle Jam. Uh, and Jingle Miss is kind of what's said for like Jingle Jam. Um, I'll just go with Merry Christmas. Present. I can't spell it at all. Okay. Okay. What do we think? And I'll I'll do all of the signs the same and have the arrow like pointing. Hopefully they realise they can open it. Yeah, I'm assuming when you break it, it pops out. So... No, 
of its little house. I don't think he's had the chance to go on very much and finish decorating if he wants to do any more. I'm assuming there's going to be more up there considering it's empty. Um, I will put it over here. It was showing up the purple shoes on my thing for a second, but I wasn't actually wearing them. I hope. Um, let's put it here. Okay, for some reason it's making it look like they're on my feet. But they aren't. Okay, then this house over here. Which do we think is their front door? Because they've got three. We think this one's the front door? Probably. Now, whose do we think this is? Because there's no sign with a name on anywhere. Well, out of um, the potential people it could be that we think, well, that I think it might be, it's either Rose or Hog. I feel like out of the two of them, it could be Rose. She does like, I think, building more decorative stuff. I feel like this could be Rose. I'm not really sure. I'll, I'll do the blue ones, I think. Doesn't matter either way because they're both kind of blue. Uh, I'll have it this or Okay. I probably could go back and like check their VODs of when they've um, played on here and see where they were building, but let's do a much effort. Uh, look at the rest of the presents. Uh, this one. The person that we weren't sure who it was, so do this one. Okay, this one is Drunken Gator. Yeah, they're very cute presents. Doing the green.
And then the last one for Wolco over here. I will have to then keep an eye on if people can't figure out how to open them. Uh, there isn't really a door, so we're just going to place it here, I think. I guess, yeah, around here. There we go. Presents for everyone. And just in time as it's getting dark. There we go. All of our presents are delivered. Yeah, and our house is decorated. Decorated our tree. I'm actually really happy with how we, this has all turned out. It looks lovely. Yeah, nice, like, I actually like lo love how I've designed it. It looks nice. Oh, that. I needed to sort that. I noticed it. Generally, it does not look right with the sand at the bottom. There is a skeleton over there. And I don't have a shield. I'll be able to fight it. That's a creeper. Good thing there's no damage because he would have just blown up my tree. I don't know what happened to my shield. I swear I used to have one. Maybe it broke. He just decided to walk out into the sun. There we are, that's all I wanted to do. Then it looks a bit better.
yeah i think we're done with this basically the house is complete shame we weren't able to like get more like other things done but i think not many people have had the chance to go on that much yeah i'm proud of my little house a nice like patio area a little sled that we can travel around on our tree Lovely, like, kitchen dining area. And our bedroom slash living room. Yeah, I'm very proud of it. And all in survival as well. Um... Yeah, I think that's, I'm done with this that now, um, yeah, and I think I will also um, end the stream here, I was thinking about maybe doing other games, but um, I probably should go, because dinner will probably be ready soon-ish. Um, uh, yeah, no, this was, this was fun building this. At first I wasn't really sure what to do and then other people started building and I was like, okay, I'll just, I'll just build a nice little house. Um, and found all of these lovely little decorations. And yeah. Yeah, I will definitely have to come back on once everyone's finished off, um, what they're building. Because with creative mode, I think it shouldn't be too bad. Um, in fact, let's... Um, no, what? No, I type... Slash game mode. There we go, yeah. Let's take a look from above. There we are, that's a nice view of it. Oh, there's a spider. Go away. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, other people's builds also look nice as well. Hmm. It's been fun building this. without all of the overlays and everything. Yeah, this has been super fun building all of this and, you know, seeing what other people have been building and stuff. And yeah, I'm assuming over the next couple of days of creative mode, everyone will finish their stuff off. Um, I know at least a few people are gonna finish it off in survival, um, like I have. Um, but yeah, I will see who there is for us to raid. Fine, there we go. Uh, let's see, who in the team is live? Anyone doing any 
fundraising and the Noir, probably. Let's see, who have we not raided in a while? Um, yeah, let's raid Fishbutt. Don't, I think it's not been that long since we raided her, but uh, she's doing uh, one of the collection games. Uh, so I will send you guys over there. And hang out um, and yeah don't forget today is the last day to get the um, Jingle Jam collection and donate to it um, so yeah if you wanted to donate today is your last chance um, so make sure you get your donations in um, and yeah uh, I'll probably not be streaming over the next few days at least because uh, I'll be back to work on Saturday uh, so I might be back next week at some point um, but yeah it'll be probably be I'll definitely be back when um, Swords of Magic and Stuff Frostfall event starts for that but otherwise, I'm not entirely sure when I will be streaming next, but yeah. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you all had a nice time here today, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!